Hello everyone, today we're going to install Windows Server 2008 R2 on Windows 10. So let's begin. Double click on VirtualBox. Then click on you. Uh, we're going to leave the type uh, Microsoft Windows. The version I'm going to be choosing uh, Windows Server 2008. 64-bit uh, version, which is R2 that I'm going to be using. The location will be other PC data and VirtualBox. Select folder. Um, and then here I'm going to be typing in Windows Server. Oh, sorry, 2008 R2. And then I click next. This is fine. I'm going to give it two gigs. Click next. I'm going to leave it by default. Click next. Oh, excuse me. Click create. Then VDI. I'm going to leave it as it is. Then click next. Dynamic allocation. I'm going to leave it as it is. Click next. The size 32 gigs and the location. Everything looking good. Create. Okay. Click on start. All right. Uh, and then click on the browse button. Click on add. Um, the server, we're going to do R2 2008. We're going to choose. And then we're going to start. Let me just close this part here. I'll make it easier. And now it's loading. All righty then. I'm going to meet myself this part right here okay so language English time keyboard English and US everything looks fine we're gonna be clicking next click on install and I believe he's going to ask me to agree the license term, if I'm correct. Oh, no, excuse me. So, is this is to pick the, excuse me, the operating system, the, the different type of R2 we're going to be installing. So, we're going to do the base data center, right? And we're going to click next. And now we accept the license, uh, the accept the license term, and then click next. We're not doing an upgrade, but we are doing a custom. The file, uh, the space is fine, and then click next. Now it's going to begin the process of installation. Right at uh, this point, I'm going to fast forward.
and this is how you install Windows Server 2008 R2. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.